Hi folks, I hope this message finds you well and staying reasonably sane in these interesting times. I don't know about you, but to me, time seems to be doing some weird things. Like days seem to go on forever, but then weeks go by really quickly. And I know that even though I've stuck to my usual morning routine of uh, meditating and getting out for a walk and all that stuff, um, I've sort of lost my weekly pattern of what normally happens on each day of the week, which can be a little bit disorientating, a little bit untethering. But it's really made me stop to think about how I spend my time. And I'd like to invite you to also do that, because I think maybe a lot of us, especially as we get a bit older, have that sense of where is the time going? It does feel like it's speeding up. And I think the temptation in this hectic age where we're bombarded with so much information is that we spend a lot of our time in reactive mode rather than proactive mode. Apparently, since 1986, there's been something like a five-time increase in the amount of information that we are subjected to every day. And obviously, our brains have not increased their capacity to absorb all of that information by a multiple of five in the same period of time, which might be why a lot of people feel overwhelmed when life is normal, that there's just so such a uh, like fire hose of information coming at us all of the time. So while we have some time out from reality, might be a good time to think about when normal, quotes, life resumes, how much of that information do we want to allow in? I hope that during lockdown, if that is your situation, I hope that maybe you have had time to do things a bit differently, to stare into space and do nothing even for, oh, seconds at a time. So when we go back to reality, maybe we can do things in a bit of a different way to allow our brains more time for stuff to come out from the inside. Well, rather than allowing ourselves to be constantly bombarded from the outside. So a lot uh, is written these days about productivity. I certainly know there are people on some of the um, publications that I subscribe to who are all like, there's 10,080 minutes in a week and are you using every single one of them? And Frankly, I find it completely exhausting. I don't think that that's what life is about. I think life is about being intentional about where we put our time and our energy, being very selective about that, because we know it's too easy. If we don't have an idea of what's important to us, then somebody else's important ends up being our important. They're like a little icon at the bottom of your screen jumping up and down saying I need this now I need this now and we end up just responding to their sense of urgency even if it's not actually important to us so you know on, on that grid of the um, important but non-urgent um, is in that quadrant where we should be spending more of our time but too often we end up in the urgent but not important quadrant so maybe this is a time to come up with some good policies and guidelines for ourselves about where we actually want to be focusing our attention. So um, that's certainly something that I'm thinking about a lot at the moment. What are the two or maximum three buckets where I want to be putting most of my focus? Because I know that when I'm spread out across too many different things, trying to multitask isn't that a disaster, uh, then really nothing gets done very well. So that's my uh, imperative for this time. And I'd just like to leave you with a couple of quotes that I find really inspiring and illuminating about this. The first one is from Professor Tim Jackson's TED Talk, based on his book, prosperity without growth. And his quote is about excessive materialism. And he says, uh, and also the credit boom, he says, we spend money we don't have to buy stuff we don't need to create 
impressions that don't last on people we don't care about. When I first heard that, I just thought, ouch, (laughs) so true. And then the other one is from the Dalai Lama. I don't need to say any other words of introduction about him, obviously. And somebody asked him what surprised him most about humanity. And he said, man or woman, because he sacrifices his health in order to make money. Then he sacrifices money to recuperate his health. And then he's so anxious about the future that he doesn't enjoy the present. The result being that he doesn't live in the present or the future. He lives as if he's never going to die. And then he dies having never really lived. So I will leave you with that thought. How can we make sure that as we emerge from lockdown back into something resembling normal life, how do we make sure that we are really living? Be well, take care, see you soon.